Look, and anything above center will curve. And if, when it goes below center, watch what happens. It'll it'll go convex, right? So I got to go in slow here. Hold on. So as it goes down here, the balloon just popped. Look, do you see? Do you see it just went convex, right? See how it's curved the wrong way? Yep. It's curved. It's curved the wrong way. I think I have it slower over here. So so here it is. Yeah, I got a frame by frame. So this is just a fisheye lens, right? Wow. Curved and flat and convex. Flat, flat. There's, it's flat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So what's so making again, the balloon pop? The pressure. Um. Well, yeah. It goes up and the air gets so thin. The balloon, you know, get it's cold and then it finally it finally oh. explodes. And um, you know, th these balloons go up for like three and a half hours at hundred. 120,000 feet. Well, the Earth is spinning to the east at a thousand miles an hour. It's disconnected from the Earth almost in space. When it lands, it should land 3,000 miles to the west, right? Because the Earth is spinning underneath it, right? But most of the times, these balloons land east of where they took off. So they go up, they outrun the spin of the Earth, and then they land in front of the spinning Earth. Just thinking about that and understanding that completely blows away the, yeah, the... See, like seeing footage like this and and witnessing the proof that there is a fisheye lens for me i i have to say that as of right now the earth looks very flat to me i'm just yeah 120,000 feet non-fisheye lens 120,000 feet non-fisheye oh, lens. So, so what is this in, in, in is our earth infinite are we floating in space what the hell's going on here